Well, howdy, 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 nearly senior citizen here. Greetings, boys and girls, and welcome to this. Another extemporaneous, which just means off the top of my head, vlog wherein I yammer about nothing at all for about 20 minutes and then say, have a great day. Because I need the processing time. I'm a talker. I've used my entire life to talk, to process. And if I can't talk, then I don't process. And if I can't process, my brain don't work right. Ever since I started vlogging, wherein I just turn on the webcam and go, my brain has been functioning a lot better. So thank you for coming along on the journey. It is greatly appreciated. I talk about this, that, and the other, about everything and all, and usually it's just about my life. And also, like right down in here, I have a bin cage. A bin cage? Yes, a bin cage, which is just a big plastic bin converted into a hamster cage and here's little Charvy and Charvy's such a sweetheart. I love Charvy. I love all my hamsters. Ha Charvy here is a young rescue I picked up. I don't know why somebody took him to the pet store and said I don't want him anymore but they did and ever since I've had him he's been an utter sweetheart. Just an absolute little just well sweetheart is a good answer. He is a wonderful hamster all of my little guys, well, the only one that's ever really bitten me is Boogle, and she's been a biter ever since I picked her up, so. But this is Charvy, and just like all my hamsters, his anti-camera gyroscope is very powerful, so he will not face the camera to save his life. But that's okay. He's a good little guy, so I'm going to put him back in his cage, back down into his nest. There you go, little guy. Now, I'm not covering him up, but he's, he's in his little nest which he had a mound of bedding in the corner and I had to open up the mound and then reach inside and pluck him out. It was kind of like an anthill. But now he's just curling himself back up and I am covering him up with bedding. There. He is now completely covered back up again. Very, very good. I wish I had a second webcam that I could have at the same time so you could see my hamsters like on a 24-7 hamster cam. I'd love to just I want to go back to streaming on Twitch. I haven't had a time because I keep falling asleep. Winter is a bad time for me, apparently. I fall asleep at this stage in my life. I have never fallen... I have fallen asleep this much. Back when I lived in my brother-in-law's garage, before I started vlogging, I would be awake for three hours, sleep for three hours, awake for three hours, and when I was awake, I was not alive. So then I started vlogging, and my life came back to semi-normal. Oh, I came back to vlogging after talking about hamsters. But also, I lost my dark green ma marker, which I'm really irritated about because it's a, it was a good dark green marker, so I had to use the light green marker. What that says up there is, though it could find a better way of telling you that you're still alive instead of pain. I mean, that's not the entire purpose of it. It's to tell you when you're injured, but quite often pain tells you that you're still alive. You're not dead yet. You've been badly hurt. You're injured, but you're not dead, so keep moving. So that's the point of pain. It helps keep you alive. As much as I hate pain, it's also an incredibly good thing. Incredibly. Let's just stretch that out for like 18 syllables. Because there are people that don't feel pain. They generally don't live long. If you're a child and you don't feel pain, you're going to end up badly, badly broken and beaten. You don't know when you're hurting yourself. These are kids and people that break their teeth because they can't tell they've broken their tooth on something. They break bones. They don't know they've broken a bone. It doesn't hurt. These kids go blind because they scratch their eyes up. They can't feel it. If you can't feel pain, you're going to die young, unfortunately. Pain is, while awful, I mean, I, I wish my pain signals would turn off. That's one of my biggest issues, is uh, with all of my back injuries, I have chronic pain from that. My back and all the muscles, all the way from like my neck down to my ankles, constant, constant, constant pain signals telling me I am badly hurt, I need to go get help. Most of the damage healed up over a decade ago. Most. There is still some damage that I don't know if that'll ever heal. But 
most of it is healed. There's just, the pain signals are still screaming. It's like 10 years later, you're trying to work in a bank while the fire alarm is still going off and everybody's ears are hurting and you're having to scream over the top of it to try and get your work done, but nobody can shut the damn thing off. Well, for everyone with any sort of chronic pain issue, that's what's going on. That damn alarm signal won't shut off. And it tells you that there's something badly wrong and you need to take care of it now. Even though the issue was taken care of decades ago. So even though my back is largely healed, largely, and my legs are largely healed. I do have spinal damage, unfortunately. I damaged my spine, and especially way up here. I'm actually really worried about the damage I've done up here because I have numb spots on, from my shoulder blades on down, not shoulder blades, shoulders on down on my back where it's just numb. And that means there's damage way up high, right near the base of my neck, where, you know, base of my skull, where my head connects to my neck. So, yay? It happens. Life is life. There's damage. I'm alive. I, as long as I keep my head pulled back because my, my entire body arches and hunches in such a way that your back, you know, there's your ribs here and then your vertebrae and it curves like this and then your neck goes like this. My neck goes like that. I don't know why I was staring over there instead of right there, but it's that doesn't work. And so my head is like at the end of a long crane, and so it's, there's a lot of stress on the crane at all times. Gay? So I can pull my head back, but it's uncomfortable because my entire body has been molded in such a way that it just doesn't work right. I got scoliosis, so even just sitting properly isn't going to help. It's a very mild case of scoliosis, thank goodness, but my spine does not, it's not just a nice column if you look at it, you know, head on and then doesn't just have the nice curves in it from the side. It's a mess. Thumbs up for that. There were all sorts of things that I've read online and all sorts of things that I'm, shh, shh that I'm quite sure I want to talk about, but of course, the moment that I turn on the webcam, I forget everything, which is the way life is. I need to write things down again. I've got a little board for writing things down on. I forget to write things down. I've got a little tablet with pens for writing things down. I forget to write things down. Quite oftentimes, I'm in places where I can't write things down. Other times, like when I'm here, and I see something online, generally I forget to write it down. I just say, oh, I better remember that. And then forget that I need to write it down because I'm gonna forget it, and then I forget it. And then the other times that I wanna write it down, I look around going, huh, where did I put the, I've forgotten where I put that. And then later on when I find it, of course, I've forgotten what I wanted to talk about. Thumbs up on that. One thing, I guess, that's still going on is all the kids that are fighting back against um, the senators and the U.S. government fighting hard to try and get some sort of like gun control so that my, our, my country, the country I live in, has not just completely lost its mind. We're the only country on the world that says, well, you know, there's nothing you can do about gun murders. I mean, sure, in this year alone, in the you know two months we've had, of this year, we've had X number of dead kids and school shootings and murders galore, but there's nothing you can do about it. And in the rest of the world, they took care of the issue. Every other developed nation has said, guns, no. We'll keep them for a good reason. And if you got a good reason, that's fine. But otherwise, no. And you know what? Amazing. No gun murders. And of course, with the NRA and all these people that they say, we need to have the guns and you will respect the flag because we need these guns to stockpile against the government. So respect that flag of the government that we want to overthrow if they ever get too tyrannical. What? If you respect the flag, why are you stockpiling against the government? And if you're stockpiling against the government, why are you respecting the flag? Cognitive dissonance, two completely separate things that have nothing to do with each other and will not fit. 
and it's a central tenet. Yeah, that makes sense, doesn't it? So I'm not a gun person. I don't like guns. I don't think that people need to have military weapons. And after all, having been in the military and all that that entails, when you're on base, you don't carry your gun. You let the military police take care of the job. They are in charge of keeping everybody safe. Now, against somebody who wants to kill people, even they can't do the job. Somebody went on to a military base and shot the place up. Guns ain't gonna stop the situation, and especially arming the teachers. They wanna arm the teachers in the US. Uh-huh, do you wanna be a black teacher holding a gun trying to protect your kids when the cops show up? Cops kill unarmed, innocent black people now. You just have to be in a car and be black, and you're gonna be lucky if the cops don't shoot you. You wanna be a teacher with a gun when the cops show up? Oh, my country is insane. Thumbs up. In fact, given a choice, I mean, I probably would live in a different country that had some sanity to it. But I, I need cannabis. And unfortunately, the United States seems to be one of the few places on Earth that is becoming sane about cannabis use. It is legal for recreational and medicinal use in the state I live in. Sure, federally it's illegal, so while my state says I'm fine, so I can smoke pot on camera and it's legal. And at the same time, the US government could go, well, you know what, and then come in and raid my home and take me out to prison. Because the state says it's legal, and as long as I'm in Washington, I'm illegal, but I'm in the United States where they say it's illegal. Because our country makes sense, doesn't it? We have an opiate addiction problem where tens of thousands of people are dying every year from opiates. And our country's attorney general says pot, cannabis, is a worse problem than heroin. You can stay sober off of heroin using pot. You can stay sober off of anything using, using pot. The only thing that is bad about pot is for these older people, it is all about racism because the black people smoke it, Mexicans smoke it, immigrants smoke it, white people don't. Therefore, it's illegal. It's always been that way. It was first made illegal back in the 30s and 40s because of racism, brown people. That's why they insist, even now in the government, in calling it marijuana. Marijuana is a slang term from Mexico. The government uses the term marijuana to stress that it's brown people that smoke it. Gotta love that. And of course, during the 70s with Nixon and all, it was kept illegal, not for any health purposes, but because that way they could raid the hippies, the Black Panthers and all that, and they hated the hippies. So if you kept it illegal, you could keep doing illegal things to all the hippies. Now, who knows about the 80s onward, because the 80s onward is when Reagan took over, and that's when the United States government got Alzheimer's, as Reagan got it. The me generation, greed is good, let's dismantle the country for our personal benefit, Republicans started taking over. And now, we've got the end result of that. The Republican Party is pretty much the party of party first, money first, power first, America? Well, that's not on the list. Yeah, as long as we have money and power, fuck the rest of you. Gotta love it. Now, while the Democrats aren't much better, at least they have a, a different focus. They may be two different heads of the same monster, but the Republican head of the monster just goes, poor people, nah, 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 and starts eating and destroying and killing because fuck the future, they want power now. The Democratic head of the monster tries to keep people coming along because if you just eat a couple of them over time and keep people in a state where you can keep eating them, well, you've got yourself a nice sustainable source of food forever and ever and ever. I'd rather have the Democratic head than the Republican head. Thumbs up. 
I've opened up 24 hours worth of comments on my community tab. I'm going to go through and thank 20 to 25 people for having left me comments. Thank you so much for having done so. It is greatly appreciated. I am going to count 20 to 25 because even though I count in ASL on the fingers of this hand, I still lose track of what I'm doing. If I mispronounce your username, my sincere apologies. I'm an American English speaker. We're not really wonderful at names. Thumbs up for that. And of course, I'm not reading the comments at the moment. I'm going to read them afterward. I'm going to thumbs up everyone to read, answer as many as I can. But for right now, I'm just thanking you for having left a comment. So a good comment, bad comment, a different comment. Thank you for having left a comment. I bumped into my pop shield. I'm really good at that. So I'm going to come over here and we have Shane McHolland. Thank you very, very much. And Zero Infinity, heck of a name. Thank you very much. Tundra Keeper. Thank you. Greatly appreciate it. Good to see you in the comments. And Ice Neiman. Thank you very, very much. Lieutenant Cupcake. <laughs> Son of a gun. I like the name. Thank you. Cody Glasson. Thank you very, very much. Shane Haggerty. Thank you. And Yen Lei. I sure hope I'm close. Thank you very, very much. Mark Grawl. Greatly appreciate it. And Paradox Timeline. Ooh. I like that. And ITZ4LL3XROU. I have no idea how to pronounce that, but thank you very, very much. Ice Cube, son of a gun. And Chris with, uh, I think it's Korean letters after it? I can't tell. I'm not quite sure. And my sincere apologies, but thank you very, very much. Sisir Dutta, thank you. And then there is James Knuckles, greatly appreciated. Mint Julep, <laughs> heck of a name. And Played Plane, 61, greatly appreciated. Abby, thank you very, very much. Potato Tron, always good to see you in the comments too. Thank you very, very much. Everything Happens to Me, greatly appreciated. Chloe Harp, thank you very, very much. Loretta Blacks, thank you very, very much. And Tercio Filo, I sure hope I'm close, but thank you very, very much. Damien Pavez, Thank you. And then last but not least, Valerie Martinez. Greatly appreciate it. Thank you so very, very much. Thumbs up to each and every one of you. It is appreciated, as stated, to get me out of my head, into the real world, dealing with actual people. Thank you so very, very much. Definitely a thumbs up. I have various links down below. If you could check those out, I have Twitter, Facebook, GoFundMe, Patreon.com, Google+. If you could check those out, that would be awesome. If you could donate to my GoFundMe campaign or become a Patreon.com patron like one of these beautiful and awesome people, that would be beautiful and awesome. Thank you very, very much. Now, if you cannot donate or you simply do not donate, I take all good wishes. I deposit them in the bank of my heart where I draw interest. So thank you very much. And also, I have a Humble Bundle link down there to the latest... I have no idea what I'm linking to. I just know there's a Humble Bundle thing down there. If you could go check it out. If you could go to the HumbleBundle.com place and buy some stuff, it'd be awesome. I buy stuff from Humble Bundle too. I'm a Humble Bundle partnered person. So if you go there with the link down there, they'll actually kick some money back my way. That is kind of cool. It is a good thing. You just click on a bundle. You can say how much money you want to send to charity. You can even say how much money you want to give to me out of the purchase. So that would be very, very cool if you could check that out. Link is down below. Thumbs up for that. If you could toss me a like, that would be awesome. I do appreciate all the positive validation I get for my existence. And if you could subscribe to the channel, that would be cool. But I would understand if you don't want to. My personality has rubbed people wrong my entire life. So if you don't like my channel, you don't like my videos, I do understand. But if you are down with it, I will do my best to keep you entertained from now until the literal end of time. And yes, I say this almost every time, but it's true. I talk with my hands. If I couldn't talk with my hands, I would go insane. I'm slightly claustrophobic. So if I ever get handcuffed, I will lose my mind. But I talk with my hands. I have my entire life. Thumbs up for that. I must be Italian somewhere in my background. I know that my grandparents on my mother's side immigrated to the United States through Canada from Scotland. So at least I know my, that my grandparents came from the Scottish Highlands. Or the lowlands, it's hard to say. No, but at the same time, would that mean that I have some of my ancestors that came from Ireland? That would be kind of cool if they did come from Ireland. I would like that. The home of Jack Septicai. I can do a lot of accents. <laughs> Thumbs up on that. Well, shucks. I got a reaction video coming up. Got a game video coming up. If I can stay awake, got a game video for my game channel coming up. That's a very good thing. Definitely a thumbs up. So you take care. Have a great day today. I hope you didn't mind my whoring myself out for Humble Bundle. If you could go buy some stuff, that would be awesome. So take care. Have a great day. 
I will see you on the flip side, and that, my friend, is a very, very good thing.